A friend of mine, Nancy Henson, posted this on Facebook the other day, and I wanted to share it with you. When writing a letter, I like to keep the content of the letter to one page on the front of the paper. I will often begin writing the letter with standard margins, one inch left, right, top, and bottom. This standard approach to term papers and letters is regularly sufficient to encapsulate the fullness of the letter. Yet there are times when once I have completed the letter with these margins, I realize I have bled over to a second page. When I notice I have gone over, I will look to the margin tab at the top of the program to realign the page with new margins to bring the whole letter onto just one page. This has at times meant I needed to change the margins as much as 50% to 0.5 inches left, right, top, and bottom. Margins play a role in the act of writing to give space for the reader's eyes to move without angst or difficulty across the page, taking in the words. If I were to give someone a single spaced letter with no margins, the level of anxiety and feelings of being overwhelmed with a number of words would create its own stress inside the person. Yet there are many days in our lives where we seek to live without margins in our own daily schedule. God has given us a set number of hours each day, our blank sheet of paper, and we tend to pack that page with our daily tasks and experiences without any margins. I can do more, see more, or say more. I see a blank space still on the paper. Jesus' model of life created margin where he intentionally made space for time alone with his Father, time alone with the disciples, and time alone to rest and recuperate. Look at these passages. Matthew chapter 14, verse 23. After sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Matthew chapter 13, verse 36. Then leaving the crowds outside, Jesus went into the house. His disciples said, Please explain to us the story of the weeds in the field. Luke chapter 8, verse 22 through 23a. One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and started out. As they sailed across, Jesus settled down for a nap. In his book, Margin, Restoring Emotional, Physical, Financial, and Time Reserves to Overloaded Lives, Richard Vinson writes, we must have some room to breathe. We need freedom to think and permission to heal. Our relationships are being starved to death by velocity. No one has the time to listen let alone love. That's from page 26 in his book. How is God calling you to create margin in your life? Where do you need to create space to breathe, to spend time with God, with family, and with friends? Let us pray. Lord, guide my mind and my heart to the margins of my life. I am trying to fit too much into each day and need the margin and boundary to say, no, to fitting more stuff into my life. Give me the wisdom and discernment to allow certain projects and activities to bleed over into the next page, the next day, and find margin in each day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.